Chronic back pain. That's a big topic. I have chronic back pain, had mostly chronic back pain. Don't really have much anymore. But many people, most people, will at some point in their lives have back pain. It can be acute, coming on suddenly, subacute over a few weeks. It can become chronic, which means it's lasting many months, failing exercise, conservative therapy, management treatment modalities that reduce back pain. So people, many people live in chronic back pain. I see them every day here in the office. What is it from? What causes the chronic back pain? Now I'm specifically talking about back pain located in the center of your low back area. It might grow across side to side, but it's more localized in the spine itself, not off in the buttocks or down the legs. That's pinched nerve pain. That's a different problem. Chronic back pain is the achy back. The thing that causes the achy back typically, in my experience, are two things. One, and I believe this is becoming more real than people understand, is degenerative discs, degenerative disc disease or failing discs where the discs start collapsing and the bones start vertebrae above starts rubbing on the vertebrae below as the disc collapses. It hurts. The disc and bone rub on each other like a mortar and pestle. They're grinding. I see this commonly. Causes a lot of chronic back pain. The other parts of the spine that are joints and mobile are the facet joints. The facet joints, there's one on the right, there's one on the left, and you have a disc in the front. So every level of the spine, and remember you have five discs in the low back, you have a disc in the front and two joints in the back. If the facet joints are degenerative or arthritic or arthropathic or spondylitic, these are all doctor words that mean kind of like an arthritic joint, this can cause chronic back pain, okay? That in addition to a degenerative disc. So I get some patients with very healthy looking facet joints and a bad degenerative disc. I get some people with healthy discs with arthritic facet joints and then I get some people with bad discs and bad joints. So those things are the pain generators in my experience for chronic back pain. These can be treated, number one thing to help reduce back pain is a good core strengthening exercise program, physical medicine rehabilitation, physical therapy, exercise, good chiropractic if they're exercising you right, and strengthening. If you've gone through these options and you need to seek an, a, an opinion regarding your chronic back pain, see a competent spinal surgeon. Most spine surgeons do not recommend spine surgery. I don't care what you read on Google, it's not true. Most spine surgeons are conservative. There are some that are more aggressive, but in general, I would say most patients I see, I do not recommend surgery for. We find other modalities we work first to help relieve chronic pain. I was just on the phone with somebody earlier. I've been taking care of her for eight years, chronic pain. We do some injections, blocks, and therapy, and she gets better every time. This is the usual thing. So it's best to see the spine specialist, spine surgeon, orthopedic, um, neurosurgery, the neurosurgery and ortho, both do spine. Get your opinion, see what treatments they recommend, and make a plan and outline it so you can stay active, functional, and healthy throughout the rest of your life as we age, right? We wanna keep mobility, we wanna to keep to be strong and active, we wanna enjoy our older years, uh, especially we're approaching the clubhouse, like we say in golf, you know, when you're on the back nine of your life, you wanna enjoy your life before you see the clubhouse. So you wanna keep active and functional and keep moving. Let's make a plan to help treat your chronic low back pain. Thanks. <laughs>